Overview. In previous lessons, we have discussed inertia, including what is inertia, Newton's first law of motion, situation involving inertia, mass and inertia, and reducing negative effects of inertia. In this lesson, we will discuss momentum, including the principle of conservation of momentum and its applications. Under principle of conservation of momentum, we will discuss how to solve problems related to collisions and explosion. Learning focus. In this lesson, we will discuss what is momentum, including its unit and formula, the principle of conservation of momentum, and the applications of principle of conservation of momentum. Under the principle of conservation of momentum, we will discuss the formula that describes the conservation principle. We will also discuss the two cases of reaction, collision, and explosion. Under collision, we will discuss the elastic collision and inelastic collision. In the applications, we will include rocket, jet engine, and the moving mechanism of a jellyfish. Momentum. In SBM, there are a few things that you need to know about momentum. First, you need to know the definition of momentum. Momentum is defined as the product of mass and velocity. Second, you need to know the formula of momentum. The formula of momentum is P equals to mv, where P is momentum, m is mass, and v is velocity. Third, you need to know the unit of momentum. In SPM, you need to state the unit of the physical quantity of your answer. Momentum is equal to mass multiplied by velocity, the SI unit of mass is kg, and the SI unit of velocity is ms negative 1. Therefore, the unit of momentum is kg ms negative 1. Last but not least, you need to know that momentum is a vector quantity. Therefore, you need to be cautious about the directions of the motion. If an object moves in opposite direction, its momentum is negative.